All right. Hi, Renee. Hi, Kelly. Hello, Savvy Girls. I'm really excited today. We are, I'm announcing a huge giveaway, and I, I want to introduce you to Renee Bartosz. She is the founder and CEO of Pure & Coco, a really fantastic clean skincare line. And we're going to talk about her story. I think it's really interesting because the inspiration behind her story is really started by a problem that so many people have. Um, but we will get to that. So, and we're going to announce our big giveaway. So stay tuned to, um, toward the end. Yeah. Now, <laughs> oh, and a quick shout out to Jasmine Starr because we found each other through her. Yeah, she yeah. is fabulous. So Renee, I would love to hear the whole story, how you started Pure and Coco and, and um, your, your why. Yeah, absolutely. So um, the whole business concept started because my hands, um, they used to crack and bleed in the winter months. Eczema runs in my family. My grandmother, she had it. Um, my daughter, I think, has it. So it's definitely a hereditary thing. But um, ever since I was a kid, I would go to bed with lotion and gloves at night in the winter months because they would dry out to the point. They would crack and bleed. So I put on lotion and gloves because I didn't know. I was desperate. And it, I can remember it would make me cry because it stings so bad. Um, back before I knew... Um, the certain products are better for the skin than others. Yeah. So I, you know, I go to whatever company and just whatever smelled good, I put it on. So this was going on for years and years and years. Um, so my husband, who is also my business partner, he has his degree in environmental studies. He came home one day and he said, you know, you should really switch to natural products because there's a lot of bad um, makeup is what he said. You should switch to that because there's a lot of bad toxins in them and it can hurt you. And so I kind of had a light bulb moment um, so I started researching. I wasn't real happy at my day job. So I used my downtime to research. And then I just started testing different ideas on my skin and seeing how it, my skin reacted to it. So originally I tried using straight coconut oil, but it wasn't absorbing into my skin like I needed because my skin is so dry. And that's a common problem with a lot of people I talk to. Yes. It just, I know people that, that it even can dry it out more if it's not mixed with the right things yeah yeah or it just sits on top like I put it on my yeah. face and it would just get my eyes it was a mess I was like this is not working but I kept pursuing it because I was like there's got to be something so um I ended up developing what I have now is uh, the moisturizing exfoliators um after a lot of tweaking is these um but after a lot of tweaking I got them down to the consistency that they are now and so I started using it every single day on my, my hands. Um, about a month afterwards, my, one of my coworkers actually noticed and she said, what are you doing? Your skin looks better. So my skin was that bad that she wow. felt like, hey, what, you know, it's something's working, you're doing something different. So um, again, another light bulb moment, I was like, do you guys want to try this? I was like, it feels really good. And so everybody at my work tried it. They loved it. And so I was like, give me good feedback. What do you think? good, bad, otherwise. Um, and then I just started testing out different ideas of how I could use it because I wanted something that you could use multi-purpose so that we don't have to buy a product for every single need. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, so that's how it was born. But the biggest difference with this was the sugar removes the top layer of dead skin cells and then the coconut oil gets a chance to actually absorb into the skin. So that's why it works so well. That's really um, yeah. And I love that your, so your husband, tell me a little bit about what he does. Um, so he works for the uh, sheriff's department where we live, but um, he served in the Marine Corps for four years. Um, and then after that, he went to college and got his bachelor's in environmental um, studies. So um, another reason for the sugar is because this was before microbeads were banned. So those were those little tiny plastic beads that were really popular for a while. It's so horrible um, for the environment and, and not good for your skin, of course. Yes. Yeah. Um, so that was another reason for the sugar um, because it's biodegradable. Yeah. And then it's also actually really good for your skin versus like a salt. Salt's going to make dry skin worse. So that's where the sugar came in. But I love that he was studying it and and he learned the the truth and um, yeah it's fantastic yeah. yeah and now you work together at the, at the company. yeah we were for quite a while just um the two of us and then we have two kids so my oldest would come with us to shows and we would ask what we were doing full-time 
and then we have, so we have two kids now, but um, since my youngest is a good surprise, <laughs> um, he, he went to work elsewhere to help, but um, this is what I do full time and then take care of them. So, yeah, right, that's great. And um, I know, you know, your audience is going to be watching as well. So just briefly about me, I'm an eco-friendly lifestyle and wellness coach, and I help people reduce toxic load by educating them on eco-friendly lifestyle and clean beauty and, you know, holistic wellness because it's beauty from the inside out. So it's mm -hmm. real important to use clean products like Pure and Cocoa and also avoid toxins, but also implement very eco-friendly habits in the house and in your beauty and personal care routine and then little detoxifying things you can do just on a daily basis in your home but also in your personal care and beauty routine yeah and absolutely i do workshops and lunch and learns and i create eco wellness programs for businesses that i also have um, you know i work privately with with clients either just one-on-one -on -one or in groups and um then I have the master class, which we'll talk about in a few minutes. So that's just briefly what I do. So basically, that's why we work so well synergistically is because I am educating and steering people toward these types of products. It makes a, such a big difference, too. I don't think that many people realize that either. Right. Yeah. Um, yeah. The green movement is growing, but still, it's, it's still fringe. There's still not enough people that, that realize how detrimental the toxins are to our health and that you're putting it right on your skin and it's very dangerous for your health and it's causing so many problems with your endocrine system and of course um risk of cancer and, and you name it and people yeah people don't realize it that's why i'm very passionate about getting that education out there and because it's a it's part education because mm -hmm. you really have the enlightenment to even know um it's not a strong pain point People don't really know that they need to know this. And, and it's kind of like, well, oh, you know, it's not going to hurt. But it really does. And it's this compound effect, mm -hmm. the cumulative effect that, you know, all the products you're using, your lotions, your deodorant, your shampoo, your makeup, name it. I mean, all the products we use in a day and the things you're using in your home. And that's what's really just thwarting our health. Yeah, absolutely. So I love uh, clean companies like yours. And, um, and how many years have you been in business? I'm coming up on six. So April 2nd will be six years. Oh, anniversary. Yeah. Yeah. How about you? Um, uh, since 2016, I started writing about this and, and working in sort of the field a couple years before that, but really coaching wasn't until 2016, 17. And I started, I really wanted to write a book because I've done all this research. I, I actually started researching and writing about it really is in 2011, but it kind of evolved. I didn't get hardcore about it until like 2012, 2013. Mm -hmm. And I really wanted to write a book and I'm finally writing the book. In fact, I'm halfway done writing it. So I'm publishing it this year, which is very exciting. Yes. <laughs> and what I know my audience would love to know are some good skincare tips because I mean, all us girls want to know skincare tips. So what are your top two skincare tips? I mean, you're young, so you're probably not worried about anti-aging, but people over 40 and 50 in my group and a lot of my audience members, I mean, a lot of them are, are your age, but a lot of them are, you know, they're over 45, 50 and beyond. And it's, it's kind of hard to, keep your skin nourished and healthy and young looking and glowing without being tempted toward, toward the, the toxins that make all these promises. <laughs> yeah. It can be tricky to navigate too, because it, I mean, like you said, the green movement is really huge right now. Um, I think the biggest thing, no matter what age range you are at, there's, you're not, pat, you're not at the point of no return. I mean, I could go from like, I don't know how you can see my hands, but if I can go from normal looking hands <laughs> to what I was before, um, it's possible for anybody. But the biggest thing is um, sugar scrubs are going to be your best friend because when you remove that layer of dead skin cells, it reveals the skin underneath. So it gives you a healthy glow. Um, also drinking lots of water that helps to yeah. inside out. It's going to help. Um, and a good cream also so it doesn't have to be like a 10-step skincare routine either um i have quite a few people one lady in her 70s she said she left a review and she said it made her skin look more useful and that was remarkable so 
Um, for, and then for another example, um, the creams. My, so my grandmother was 91. She had eczema on her hands. It made her skin look from, she was wearing gloves because she was embarrassed to not wearing gloves. Her, hands, her skin looked fantastic. So it really doesn't matter your age. Yeah. It, it, just start today or tomorrow, you know, and then start with one product and then s switch it out to um, natural products. So make sure you get in the habit of reading the ingredients on the back of the jars. Don't just read the front of the label because they will tell you anything to get you to buy. It's <laughs> <laughs> pretty bad. Um, and, watch yeah, that is one of my biggest, it's a huge topic in my book. And it's really one of the biggest things I help people with because the labels are misleading. There's no regulation, as you know, and yeah, they can put anything they want on the label. It's, so it's all right. about the ingredients and that's where it gets confusing and overwhelming. Yeah. So to have companies that are trusted and, and honest like yours is really important, but also the knowledge. So you can avoid falling for companies that are being deceiving. Yeah. And I know this is important too, but another thing that I've um, really been harping on lately is when you take a shower, don't take hot showers that dries the skin out. Take warm showers, obviously, I'm but don't stay with the hot glove. showers or yeah. make it really fast. <laughs> and then um, make gloves your best friend, especially in the winter months, because that cold can zap your skin. The two extremes from like hot inside and then cold outside, that is very drying on the skin too. And your the places that you show age the fastest is your skin, your chest, your neck, and your face. Yeah. So those are all areas that you want to make sure you, you focus on, like put a scarf on and the gloves too. But those right. make the biggest things and stay away from that the is heater. Very good advice. That's what I say too. It's like this is gonna show signs of age. You know, you can do a lot to your face, but that, don't make that, the, the neck and the yeah. chest, yeah. And sunscreen all yes. in those areas too because you know even when you're driving the sun is going to hit you yeah yeah i mean you put your arm up in the window and absolutely <laughs> got to burn and for your um so this your scrub your exfoliating moisturizer which is part of the giveaway that we'll get to in a minute it's it's for use all over the body right mm -hmm. yeah um it's been dermatologist approved to use it on the face which is amazing um i use it twice daily that might be too much for some people but routine is queen uh, being very consistent with it so i you can wash your face you can take your makeup off with it you can shave with it it's i call it a five in one because it replaces yeah. five different products so yeah and yeah. do you use it on your face twice a day too or just in the my skin yes just because i need it i get the dry flaky patches and i have to be uh. um careful what I use on my face because I'll break out easily. So, yeah. Yeah, that's a big problem, I know. Um, because, so it's not, I, I mean, there's not, I'm not an esthetician and I'm doing a lot of interviews for my book, try to, because you get conflicting information about exfoliation. You know, don't over exfoliate because that can cause inflammation, but, it, but you, and then others are saying, do it more often because you want to get rid of it. And you do have, I, you, I think you definitely have to explore. You have to get rid of the dead skin cells. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, yeah, they're going to just sit there and they're going to be dry and you're not, your ingredients in your nourishing, anti-aging, what have you, well, are not going to penetrate. Mm -hmm. And you're wasting money too because right. it's not able to absorb. So you, so you, yours is gentle enough to use every day, even on the face? Yeah, because it has sugar in it. So the sugar only um, exfoliates for a few seconds and then it melts down. Uh, Another trick I learned from a customer, I love when they tell me how they use the products because it gives <laughs> me ideas. I had a gentleman, he said that um, for the second time during the day, he would uh, melt the sugar between his hands and then he would wash it with just like basically just the oil and then he would wash it off and then pat dry. So that's another option too, but um, twice a day might be too much for some people, but right. you get once a day is great. Yeah. And depending on what other things you're, you're using. Um, yes. Yes. So when you're using these, make sure you are sticking to similar clean ingredient products, because if you start mixing products, that's where breakouts can happen. Right. And what do you say to people who, who use retinols at night? If, um, if you want to, that's fine. Just make sure it has the clean ingredients. Again, that's my biggest thing is just yeah. check the ingredients and make sure it's clean. But I mean, but you, you get it. Retinols a are exfoliating maybe would use this maybe not every day 
Yeah, maybe <laughs> maybe alternate. Yeah, that's that's a good idea. Yeah. Get the best of both worlds. Yeah, there you go. Well, those are great tips. Thank you. Yeah. So we have started the giveaway and we're gonna drop the link in the comments, of course. And it's it's live, so you can enter now. And it's it's a big one. We're we're giving away a lot of stuff. Um do you wanna tell the items that you are giving away? Yeah, so I am oops, my earbud just fell out. Um I'm giving away a three pack of the moisturizing exfoliators so you can use them individually you can use them together to mix your scents um the exfoliator spoons so that we can control how much you're actually scooping out which is really handy um if you're like me i tend to overuse <laughs> right and like not put your fingers in and get yeah yeah so it keeps the excess water out um if you have a manicure it's not going to wreck your manicure or get Right. product yeah, under you your nails, the nails. <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah that's annoying too so if this is nice and it's stainless steel so it's not going to rust it's really pretty actually um, very pretty so there's that and then also the um the bamboo washcloth the facial washcloth so it's naturally antibacterial and antimicrobial so it's great to have it for your face specifically just for you, don't share it with anybody else because you don't want to transfer bodily bacteria from your bath towel onto your face. So that's what's gonna be on my end. And how about yours? Is it the case? Oh yes, I'm sorry, I'm, thank you. <laughs> there are also, I don't have it with me right now, but there'll be also the um, Marvel Travel Caring Case, cosmetic case, um, it's pretty big in size. Yeah. Um, so I'm excited about that. So. Really pretty and functional. Um, yes. I, I, I added a few pictures to the blog post. I'll put pictures of everything um, and then a link to uh, this so people can rewatch this too. Yeah, so that is all great stuff. Yes. And then also the, the giveaway expands. I recently launched my home detox masterclass and um, the winner will also get access to that. And it is a it's like, it's not a long masterclass. It's about, it's, you can get it done with it in under two hours, but it has several lessons to really teach you how to detox your, your home because there's more pollutants inside our home than there are outside. And it's, it's the number one cause. Toxins inside our home are the num leading cause of cancers and, 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 and deaths. Things off gas, the harmful you know, chemicals we're using. And you know, babies are born with over 200 chemicals in their system before they're even out in the world. So it's really an important thing for, for new moms and pregnant women to clean up the indoor environment as much as possible. I mean, you can only do so much, you know, unless you're, you're living in a bubble, but the things that I teach in this class definitely will reduce the, the toxic environment to a, a huge degree. And then also tips and methods and little habits you can do during the day, like just opening your windows for even just 10 minutes a day really helps clear out some pollutants and not wearing your shoes all over the house. And then many other tips. So yeah, um, there's handouts and workbooks and I have little pocket guides because I, I list, you know, all the harm, most harmful chemicals to avoid in your home. And then I also have my, my coveted list of recommendations on products that I recommend to use in the home cleaning products certainly but also candles and water filters and you know all these things um and then i also am offering a one-on-one -on -one session a complimentary one-on-one -on -one session within the giveaway and that is where we can do a deep dive focusing on you and what you want whether it's with regard to clean beauty or detoxing the home or wellness you know i also have a nutritional program that helps people really get into fat burning and balance nutrition with health no crazy crazy diet um, but still easy to follow so you know any any realm of eco wellness that that you want i have more targeted programs where i take people through a sp specific step but with the one-on-one -on -one, we just kind of focus on whatever you want to focus on so that is, and that all adds up to over $200 in prizes. Mm -hmm. So be sure to enter to win. And um, I'll put a link, of course, to the blog post. It's through a form you can easily. And find us on, on Instagram and tag us, tag your friends, and um, please share this video. And so we want to get as many people entering this giveaway as possible. Maybe they'll share with you if they win. <laughs> yeah, right? Yes, exactly. <laughs> the more the merrier. 
right, if you uh, introduce them to this, they might, uh, yeah, absolutely, that's a great idea. All righty, well, thank you so much. This was so fun. I'm really excited to learn about your, your company and your, and your exciting products. And we'll be talking more because I definitely want to I'll be featuring your products in my book. My, part of my book is recommending good products. I would love that. And thank you for having me. Well, it was great, great to meet you and get to know you. And mm -hmm. um, we will talk soon. And thanks, you guys. Be sure to share this video and share the post and enter to win. And I'm excited to, to meet one of you in our one-on-one -on -one session. All right. Thanks so much. Have a great rest of the day, guys.